Hi there, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, Council members, members of the public. My name is Tatiana Arnaud. I'm your city engineer. And this is a presentation regarding the award of several agreements to Granite Construction Company for on-call arterial streets improvement project, concrete improvement project, as well as the local and collector streets improvement project. The recommendation is that the city council approve and authorize the city manager to first execute agreement A-8353 with Granite Construction Company in the not to exceed amount of $12 million for a one year term ending August 31st, 2022 with the option to extend for up to two consecutive periods of one year each for a total contract not to exceed amount up to $36 million for on-call arterial streets improvements, specification number PW21-88 to project number 223102. And second, to execute agreement A-8352 with Granite Construction Company in the not to exceed amount of $10 million for a one-year term ending August 31st, 2022 with the option to extend for up to two consecutive periods of one year each for a total contract not to exceed amount of up to $30 million for on-call concrete improvements specification number PW-21-90 for project number 215709. Third, to execute agreement A-8351 with Granite Construction Company in the not to exceed amount of $12 million for a one year term ending August 31st, 2022, with the option to extend for up to two consecutive periods of one year each for a total contract not to exceed amount up to $36 million for on-call local and collect street improvements, specification number PW21-83, which includes project numbers 183106, 203102, 205702, 215707, 215708 and 223106. And finally, approve a budget appropriation transfer of $3,863,784 from the Street Maintenance Operations General Fund 101, budget to the Capital Outlay Fund 301, budget for these improvement projects in fiscal year 21 22. So back in May of this year, uh, City Council received a report regarding the pavement uh, management plan and the current pavement conditions throughout the city. And at that meeting, City Council ultimately recommended uh, additional funding to support improving the citywide average pavement condition index, or what I'll refer to as PCI, to a level of 70. So for reference, at the time of that meeting, the PCI was at about 64. Since then, we've had a new uh, rotation of analysis done, meaning every every three years we uh, analyze um, the entirety of the city. So we do a third of the city every year with every year hitting the arterial streets. With that said, we are actually not at a level of 65 since May. So that's good, that's progress. But they want us to reach a level of 70 over the next three years. And so in order to meet the council's PCI goal, we recommend that we enter into various on-call construction contracts for arterial streets, another one for concrete improvements, which will actually primarily consist of our reconstructing alleyways and putting concrete instead of asphalt so that they last us 30 plus years. And then finally, a local and collector street uh, on-call that will be dedicated primarily to those residential areas. So having these three on-calls will allow us to have the flexibility to have multiple crews deployed throughout the city to be able to accomplish the, the PCI goal as set by council. So here's some existing conditions of our arterial streets out there today. Um, you'll see, you know, a lot of uh, lateral cracking, alligator cracking, uh, potholes, you know, failed areas, things of that nature that need to be addressed. Same with their concrete uh, and alleyway. So, you know, obviously our concrete sidewalks, um, a lot of people who who are pedestrians who travel throughout our, our city know that our, our concrete sidewalks are in dire need of uh, some assistance, but those that live by those alleyways, I think understand even better how much we do really need to address our alleyways. Um, in some cases, our alleys are basically dirt, just like in that picture on the left-hand side. And so what we'd like to do is come in here, rip all of that out and put um, concrete in its place. And that should be able to hold for the next 30 years. And so we won't have to be maintaining it as often. And finally, uh, here's some pretty bad local and collector streets. So this is what you'll find in a lot of our residential neighborhoods. Um, you know, there's been a tendency to restore a lot of the arterial streets, but with that comes not, you know, not addressing what we have in our residential area. So 
now we have the opportunity to finally also address the, you know, these, these residential areas. What you see here, especially in the middle, is that's what we call alligator cracking. On the right-hand side, there's potholes, failed areas, longitudinal cracking, things of that nature. And so uh, with these on-calls, we'll be able to have a contractor come out and, and do a lot of this work in, in, in a much uh, more timely manner. So the notice inviting formal bids for the on-call arterial streets improvement project was published on May 27th with bids due on June 15th and Granite Construction Company uh, was the lowest responsive bidder at $5.34 million. The way we did this for an on-call is we basically took a representative sample of bid items plugged in their unit prices for that and then came up with whatever the lowest bid was and that's that's where granite came in uh, actually on all three of these so the on call concrete improvement project the project was published also on may 27th with these bids due on june 14th uh, using the same representative representative sample of bid items method uh, granite construction company came in as a low bidder at 1.7 million and finally, same thing with the on-call local and collector streets, published on the same day, May 27th, bid due June 14th, used a representative sample of bid items. Granite came in, just skirted in the, as the low bidder, but nonetheless, they're the low, lowest responsible bidder at $5.78 million. As far as financial impact goes, uh, the on-call arterial street improvements contract has a, is a not to exceed of $12 million for one, for one year through August 31st, 2022, with the option to extend up to two additional years for maximum contract value of $36 million. This would be funded from the Arterial Street Improvement Project 223102 in the RMRA Gas Tax Fund, as well as the Capital Outlay Fund for fiscal year 21-22. Costs for extension periods in subsequent fiscal years will be requested during the normal annual budget process. Similarly, the on-call concrete improvements contract with Granite is the not to exceed of $10 million for one year through August 31st, 2022, with the option to extend up to two additional years for a maximum contract value of $30 million. This is funded primarily from the Citywide Alleyway Resurfacing Improvement Project 215709 with the Hero and Ormond Fund funds in fiscal year 21-22. Cost for extension periods and subsequent fiscal years will also be requested during the normal annual budget process. In addition to that, any other projects that arise throughout the year, we can uh, issue task orders to then uh, fund those projects through this contract. And finally, the on-call local and collector streets improvements with Granite uh, are a not to exceed of $12 million for one year through August 31st, 2022, with the option to extend up to two additional years for a maximum contract value of $36 million funded from various capital funds, including 185 and 315 for fiscal year 21-22. Any cost for extension periods and subsequent fiscal years, again, will be requested during the normal annual budget process. That does conclude this presentation. I thank you for your time, for listening, and I'm happy to take any questions.